I rise today to speak against this amendment to place a sunset clause on the mental illness exclusion of Bill C-7. Honourable Senators, the term sunset clause is just a euphemism for the sunsetting of vulnerable people's lives. This will mean that after a very short period of time, 18 months, mental illness will be grounds for being put to death. I cannot make it plainer than that. Some senators may see the proposal of a sunset clause as a middle ground, a compromise position that seems safe if you're feeling ambivalent about the issue of mental illness and MAID. Honourable Senators, this is no middle ground. A sunset clause would mean the mental illness exclusion would automatically be removed at the end of the time periods specified so that people with mental illness as a sole underlying condition would be able to obtain assisted suicide in 18 months likely before we've even had the parliamentary review of the issue that the Trudeau government has promised since 2016, potentially in less time than it would take someone with severe mental illness to see a psychiatrist. In Canada, one of the basic criteria for accessing assisted suicide is that one's condition or illness must be irremediable, that is unresolvable and irreversible. At our legal committee, we heard from many medical experts who testified that mental illness would not fit that criterion. Dr. John Marr told us, quote, determining whether a particular psychiatric disease is irremediable is impossible. People recover after two years and after 15 years. I have repeatedly had psychiatrists refer patients to me where I am told they will never get better, yet they all have improved symptom control and reduced suffering when they finally get intensive care. Inadequate care causes remediable illnesses to appear irremediable. Quote, Dr. Trevor Hurwitz put it simply, quote, mental illness that drives patients to suicide is not irremediable, quote. Proponents say that these few short months would give the medical community time to come to a consensus on the irremediability and predictability of mental illnesses. That is nonsense. The Council of Canadian Academies, a group of the foremost medical and legal minds in this country, met for 18 months to try to come to a consensus on whether to allow people with mental disorders as a sole underlying condition to access MAID. They could not come to an agreement. Two of the largest national mental health organizations in Canada, the Canadian Mental Health Association and the Mental Health Commission of Canada, haven't even formulated their official position on the mental health exclusion of Bill C-7. Expert psychiatrists testified that the lack of consensus on, irremedi on irremediability is due fundamentally to a lack of evidence. Dr. Mark Sinor said, quote, I wish that data were in existence, as then we could have an informed conversation about how to move forward. Unfortunately, this includes a nascent area of research, which has been presented to you as one where the answers are already well understood and resolved. They are not. We can all have opinions, but as a country, we must support science over rhetoric, no matter how cleverly or vehemently delivered." Quote. Expert psychiatrist Dr. Sonu Gain agreed, dismissing the idea of a sunset clause altogether. He said, quote, "...some are suggesting the issue is simply lack of consensus and propose a sunset clause on the exclusion of mental disorders to allow time to develop standards. The issue is not lack of consensus. The issue is lack of evidence about whether irremediability in mental disorders can ever be predicted. A sunset clause would be putting the cart before the horse without even knowing if the horse exists." Quote. When I asked Dr. Harvey Shipper about a sunset clause, he replied bluntly, quote, no, I couldn't begin to support it on my last day on earth. A sunset clause, frankly, strikes me as politically dishonest, quote. Some proponents of a sunset clause use it as a way to circumvent the irremediability debate. Dr. Corinna Guarta of the Quebec Psychiatric Association AMPQ told us, quote, nothing substantial will be learned about the prognosis or treatment of mental illness in the next few years that would alter this delicate situation. Therefore, we strongly advocate that the mental illness exclusion be immediately removed from Bill C-7 and that barring that, a sunset clause is added so that the exclusion expires without further legislation needed, quote. Nothing will be learned about the prognosis or treatment of mental illness in the next few years? Really? Says who? And therefore, we should move ahead as fast as possible to allow assisted suicide for mental illness before those issues are resolved? That's ludicrous and dangerous. It sounds so innocuous, a sunset clause. But honourable senators, don't be fooled. This means that at least some Canadians will have their lives ended before they can access the treatments or options that could very well relieve their suffering and give them years to live. Even one life lost unnecessarily is too many. Take it from someone who knows. 
Dr. John Marr offered our committee some advice on this issue. He said, quote, with the reasonably foreseeable death criterion removed, the use of the irremediability criterion is being changed in practice from definitely irremediable to possibly irremediable. Is possibly good enough when what is at stake is not six months but 60 years? The applicable moral maxim is this, when in doubt, don't do it, quote. This is sage advice, honourable senators. When in doubt, don't do it. And I am asking you, please don't do this. Thank you.